Well, I'm doing this quickie video because it's a rare occurrence to feel pretty bloody confident right now um, for the Russians. I think the Germans, I know they're going to be bringing a lot of strength points to bear in a bit and a, f a ton of supply points. But, jeez man, it's going to be pretty darn difficult. Remember, it's one third um, the amount of hits, uh, the amount of, one third the amount of strength points um, that the Russians have to, for the Germans to force a retreat. I'm going to be moving these guys behind uh, north of the, uh, the Neiman here, the Neiman, and um, I'm going to just be shifting a few of the strength points around here. I'm going to try to keep this uh, in one more turn for this to become a trench, and I'll f I'm going to try to see if I can pop these guys to 10 strength points apiece. That'll make them five. That'll be pretty darn nice. And this as well, but that's f woods. So these are the uh, worst for uh, defensible terrain. They're only broken. But if I can get these guys all behind here, behind the river, that's great. And look, look, look. There's four strength points here that I, uh, that's behind the line, so I can still uh, push up. There's another three there. Um, it's not looking too bad. Uh, what I'm saying is it's looking pretty darn good. Um, and what is this going to do, like, historically, uh, come January 1915, like, once everybody's entrenched in my in my timeline, what would this do demoralization-wise? Like, this is still, like, how is this going to affect uh, troops? Uh, here, I'll, I'll zoom out a little tiny bit. Um, how is this going to, that's <laughs> not much. How, how is this going to affect um you know, uh, dealing with what's going on on the Western Front and so on. And so, oh my, <clears throat> liking it. Okay, see ya.